Hey guys, Mordecai Nut here, and today we're going to be aligning the valve timing with the timing marks on the timing chain with the cams and the crank on a 2002, 2004 to 2012 uh, Chevy Colorado 3.7 liter or the uh, GMC Canyon. And it's in some of the um, H3 Hummers, the ones with the 3.7 liter engine. That's this one. It's a five cylinder, a little bit unique for GM. And it's kind of simple to line up the, um, the uh, chain. A lot of chains, they'll have a dark colored link. See, it's, it's darker color. And for the corresponding mark on the cam, shaft, gear, same thing here. This one, however, has colored links every seven links. So if you count them, one, two, three, four, five, six, and see, that's a different color link. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and it keeps going like that. They do that, so when you line it up and you crank the engine over, I think uh, six or seven times, it'll reline up again with those marks. Um, they make it easier to uh, align it up, but it could be, could be confusion because you're expecting, it has three marks. Uh, two up there and one down there, you'll expect three different colored links, right? But it doesn't work that way. So you have to do them like this, okay? You have to make sure you're at top dead center, and how you know that, your lobes are gonna be pointing up on both sides, you see that? They're pointing this way, and these are pointing up, meaning that number one solar uh, valves are closed on the compression stroke. Also, over here, all right, the cams are gonna be flat. You see how they're flat? They're gonna pretty much be straight, pretty much be straight. Now, I'm not talking about if you take off this, uh, if you take off the sprocket, you're gonna to have to need a special tool that goes in the back here and reline the sprocket to the camshaft. We're not talking about that. We're talking about if, let's say, you're doing a head job and you're taking, and you're not, um, you don't have to take this sprocket off at all. You really don't unless you're replacing it. Okay, we're talking about the uh, valve timing and not the, not replacing the sprocket with the camshaft because you don't need a special tool for what I'm gonna tell you. Okay, so now now you're pretty much, you're, you're flat over here and it's, it's flat here and flat there. Now you go here. And of course, before you put the cams down, you have to put the chain inside and you have to, you know, pretty much put it, uh, pre-install it because it won't, you won't be able to get the chain on if you lock down the cams, if you took the cam shafts off, cam shafts off. Okay, so you have a round mark here. Okay, you make it go to one of the dark links. And then, well, 14 links over, you're gonna, this is gonna be a slot. There's a little slot here, you see it? It's a little line that marks up with that, that link. And then, you go on the bottom here, and you're gonna see a dot, and then you're gonna line up with a color link. Don't worry, because there is a color link here. You see that, right there? Like I said, they have them all over the place, and over here, but you know that's not the timing mark, because you see right here, the, um, the drift pin has to be 12 o'clock, and then you're gonna see pretty much like around five o'clock, you're gonna see a dot, and then you're gonna see that color link, and that's the one you use. And then you put your uh, tensioner on there, or whatever you're doing, but at least you know that the timing is set. Now, after you do that, in the back, you're gonna have, if you didn't touch this, if you touched this, I already did a video on how to set up the balance shafts, okay, with the crank again. There's two balance shafts on both sides and, and the marks. You can watch my other video on that one. It shows you how to set that up. And once you set that up, then the valve timing and your caliber balance shafts and everything is set up, okay? And that's basically it. All right, guys, motor car nut. Please subscribe, hit the like button. Any questions, leave them below pertaining to the video. I answer all my questions and appreciate all the feedback. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much.